couldn't block left behind the phone. Just to support it. But it's just as a, a substitute for a composite. So we know that. See, we protected the uh, front of the chapel doors and the sidewalk. I was still waiting on the highway, so we continue to hit the low side. <coughs> so far right and we actually went up to get the capping if you see the, the actual metal capping you have to start at the very top because they all they overlap all the way to the bottom but what they did is when they got high enough and you'll see this void right here this hole they stopped with um, the actual brick behind it and they took a block and put it in right next to the steps so if you go to the steps, there actually is no cinder below those steps. But you can see they, they tied that in pretty well. I mean, you got a solid substructure. Uh, every once in a while, you'll get a void like this right here. Uh, and you can actually stick your hand in and you can feel an inner uh, wall. So that must have been where, you know, they were building up the steps. But that's, that's where we're at. And so for now, we're doing... You know what I'll do? Put some uh, plywood on it.
than I thought. We're basically just using the tractor to uh, haul the stone down. So right now Bo is pulling all the good stone and then we're going to take all the composite out later and dump it or put it in the driveway for additional support. So what we're doing is now we're just uh, getting rid of all the mortar. So stone goes first then and then we'll go through the other stone. The uh, high lift is coming today so we should be good to start getting up here and start knocking all this down and then we'll just bring it down and start all over again. Originally, I was going to actually palletize everything here. As you can see, we're stacking and then uh, putting wire mesh around it. Uh, so when, when sold, they just pick it up with forklifts and move it. But this will be moved down to the parking lot. Okay, so these pallets, uh, you'll see the back two are already screened so that they can start putting more on top because it can only go so high. Uh, we'll probably pull all but one of these out of here. Maybe leave the one in the back in case you want to start um, selling it to the faithful. Uh, but if you want them out, we can move that down to the parking lot too. As you can see, we're basically uh, clearing out the site of all stone. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so as discussed yesterday, so in the parking lot to the guest house, you know, we've got uh, all this parking space. So the stone's going to basically be dropped in the center and then we're going to palletize to the sides. Uh, and then as I showed you uh, the pallets up there, which I'll take another shot, uh, we'll try to do a stage of all the pallets down here just to get them out of the way. So what we're doing is starting with a regular pallet and uh, starting to stack on it uh, and then once we start to get halfway we just took turn into what they call Gibbons basket or a Gabbins basket which is you start to uh, put mesh around it
So the high lift leaves after the first phase of removing all the stone from the tower. It's going to come back once we start spraying the tower. Oh, I'm so glad this part's over. Okay, so what we have is a 40-foot uh, tower. It's a shrine tower. It had um, block, which I have in a previous video, stone, that was set out about a half a foot from the base, which is all uh, cement brick. And over on the other side, you see cement block. There used to be composite between it, and over the years, the composite washed away, which meant that the stone was actually uh, moving and falling off. So what we ended up doing is removing all the stone from the tower by just chiseling it out. So if you take a look, you'll actually see how we have to take out the drain lines for the staircase and cut into the, the tower itself, chisel and put new drain lines. So we've got one there, we've got one on the other side, and then we're gonna have one over here. So you see all the markings, uh, the 186, 165, and so forth. That's total square footage for this section. When we actually uh, blow on a stone, so we're going to actually blow stone on, we will do about 300 square feet a day. And the idea is the stone will adhere to the cement block. Where you see screen, like on the drains or screen over here on the wood, that's so when we blow the stone uh, on it, it has something to adhere to. When you uh, blow directly onto brick, you don't have to put any screening because it's uh, porous and it uh, basically just adheres to it. So, as you can see, the size of the tower, um, we even had to take off the stairway caps and we're going to have to build those out. So today we're actually doing a test run uh, to get the style of the stone that we're going to carve and then also the color. So that's going to be the next phase. And we got Jake uh, to assist. That's it. You won't be driving the company again. Bring her down, Jer. Yes, I'm doing. So imagine, uh, Jeremy, we're going to take pictures going all the way around the tower, right? How does that handle compared to uh, Rob's? Uh, it's actually a little smoother. Really? Mm -hmm. See, that's a great shot right there. Mm -hmm. 